so many of them. Good morning. Is there any other van parking I could go? Or right over, right over there, park next to that, that, that truck? truck? Thank you. Morning squad, welcome to Loveland Ski Area. I was not planning on doing Loveland to be honest, but I kind of had like this weird off day. I'm kind of supposed to take the day off. I've done four days in a row, but I'm kind of like, let's not take today off. So I decided to try to get one more opening weekend in, which is Loveland. I do think I need to buy a ski pass, which I'm not super stoked on, but I'm gonna do it for the squad. And we're gonna check out Loveland Ski Area. Are you excited for Loveland? I'm not skiing. I made the eggs and sausage that we have, and then I threw in cheese and cilantro. In yours. And yours. I have cheese in mine? Just a little bit. I'm gonna two. I sent an email last night, so very last minute, so it is my own fault, because I wasn't really planning on going to Loveland, but as I sat here and thought about it, I was like, I probably should just go to Loveland. So I tried to reach out as like, to get a media pass, but I don't think that's really gonna come to fruition, nor do I really think I should be getting one. <laughs> just to make a YouTube video. So last time I was here, it was like really white out conditions. And so I didn't really get to like see the mountain. So I'm excited to be here, a beautiful bluebird day, just have a little different setting. So it's always fun kind of going to a new mountain. For a day ticket? A day ticket's gonna be 119. Okay. Here you go. Watched your opening day video that you made for uh was it Easton? Yeah. Looking good, buddy. Thank you. Is there any way I could get a, a media pass and do something similar for here? I emailed I think John. If John gave you a no, I have no power over Okay, he just didn't answer me yet, but okay, no worries. Thank you so much. Thank you. hundred and nineteen dollars they didn't really go for the media pass but that's okay i need to be more proactive about it next time 2023 2024 opening weekend at loveland commence <laughs> Hey, What's your Thank name? You. Chris. Chris? CJ. CJ? Charlie. Caroline. Charlie and Caroline. Nice. I like the Montex suit. Thank you. It even matches the boots. <laughs> yeah, she's working on it. She started learning filming and editing yeah. last year. Well, good for you. Yeah. Good yeah. job. Oh, nice. I see the GoPro. Thank you. Let's yeah. go. I really appreciate the videos that you do, like, like doing the camera stuff. Oh, yeah. Really Absolutely. Helpful. That's what I like the most. I'm, I'm a filmer first, and the skiing is just kind of what happened. That's awesome. I never meant to become a ski YouTuber, put it that way. So it just happened. It hey, just happened. That's the best but way, right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Hank. Yeah, for thank you guys for saying hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be safe, guys. I'll see you out there. We'll do. We'll see yeah. you out there. Later, guys. I got the wicket. Nice. Oh guys, absolutely zero line on a Sunday. 
on uh, opening weekend. And like I said, last time I was here, it was just like total whiteout condition, so I couldn't even see anything. So I got off this top lift here, and it's like, boom, you're just smacked with like the Loveland Pass area. It's absolutely beautiful. Super like high alpine, everything's above tree line. It would be really cool to, to come back here, but hey, just a beautiful day. Very warm. I think there's only one run open, but we're gonna do what we do on opening day, and we're gonna ski it. I think I 100% overdressed. I overlayered. Oh my god, look at that mountain just right in front of you. Ooh, lots of side hits. Watch out, homie. Lots of side hits. I think I remember this from last year. Kind of fun. Damn, look at all these like tons of little side hits. Gotta get warmed up here. Whoa! Sometimes I feel like I have the wrong poles. There seems to be a lot of like ski school or like ski instructors out today, but nice. Good snow. Good snow. Man, look at the view. Lots of little homies out here. You know the deal, guys. I slow up here. How you doing? Good. Maybe we can cross. Never mind. Wow, they have a park. Oh, they have a park set up. I don't know, Loveland really did park. Medium features. We have a box. Oh! That hurt. I felt that in my spine. That's a very flat, like, bomb hole. Ow. That doesn't have to be that flat. for sure. Hey guys. A day on the skis is a good day, so. We got our very own chair for our second lap, but pretty chill, pretty mellow stuff. But uh, yeah, I think the groomers, the groomers pretty fun. There's like different sort of pitches, but it is, it is kind of short. And like I said, there seems to be a lot of like people who are coming certified almost and just like little kids and teams. So just a little cruiser day. It's cool. They have like a little park set up, I guess, with some boxes and whatnot, but I can't complain when I'm outside in the mountains on skis. Like it is what it is. Day 13. I mean, just look at the views. Enjoy the mountains guys. That's what it's all about. Bunch of little kiddos today. The future generation of our shredders.
<sighs> well, a little update on the conditions. Overall, very good. I mean, pretty mellow sort of opening day cruiser, and I think there's like changing conditions. Like up top in the sun, the snow is is very grippy. A lot of a lot of traction, then you kind of hit these more shadow spots. and But for the most part, pretty mellow, kind of what you see is what you get. More importantly are the views. The views are just sort of next level up here. But I certainly did over layer. I wore one too many layers. I thought it was gonna be colder. And I think on days like this, I'm like trying to work on some uh, form things and just technique with my short turns, but then I just get bored and just want to ski. So it's kind of the name of the game. I kind of forgot to add, even though the run was kind of short, the lift line was non-existent and the lift itself was like, I could barely shoot time lapses on the lift because the lift was so quick. So it all kind of evened out. Me? Yeah. Don't try to hide it. Here's the evidence. <laughs> I've been on a cinnamon roll kick. Was it good? It was good. Leave it out of time. Well, 7.5. Super chill Sunday of skiing here at Loveland. I think I definitely, this is really one of the places I need to get back to like during the middle of the season. Like the trail map looks a lot, a lot of fun. There's like, it just seems like a really big area to ski. So um, kind of a bummer. I've only been here for opening days and skied the same sort of green run, but at the end of the day, that's kind of what it is. There was a lot of like serious ski racers and teams and stuff like that here so it was kind of like an interesting dynamic i felt like i wasn't supposed to be there because there were so many racers and you know groups going on and then there was just me like ripping around with a gopro skiing with my armadas but it was still cool kind of felt like i was in some sort of like mini olympic setting we have one final ski day here in colorado which is going to be copper mountain opening day tomorrow so plan is to sort of get organized for that maybe take a trip up to the top of loveland pass for sunset other than that, just try to enjoy life, because that's what it's about. not been to the top of Loveland Pass this entire trip. Usually it's one of the first places I go to, but we are at 11,990 feet. So very, very high up on the top of the Continental Divide. And I used to come up here all the time when I lived in Colorado, coming from Denver, we would drive up over Loveland Pass to get over to A Basin. And years ago when I was not smart, I skied Loveland Pass once. I do not recommend it, but it's pretty cool. And while I'm out of breath, even just walking up that little section, but you can see all the way out this way is Arapaho Basin. This is a really cool, gnarly area that's popular for backcountry skiing and hiking in the summer. What do you think, Tara? It's chilly, but it's pretty. <laughs>
been sleeping in the same parking lot for most of the time that we have been in the uh, Silverthorne and Frisco area. And because, you know, we got kicked out of the Walmart a few nights ago, but it seems like a lot of people have still been staying at the Walmart. So because this is our last night actually in this area, we're just going to sleep in this parking lot one last time. Tomorrow is Copper opening day, which I'm really stoked for. And will sort of be the last day of our early season, preseason Colorado trip. So hope you guys enjoyed Loveland. Thanks for watching. Have a good Monday, y'all. Peace out.